Good morning. Today we're going to look at the Zoom Q8 screen functions and the settings. Okay, and it does have a touch screen. The touch screen takes a little getting used to. It's not the worst, it's not the best. You'll start out with this screen and you're going to want to tap this in the middle to bring up the next screen. From this screen, you have all kinds of options and meters and settings that you can change. You have the zoom in and out, which also works while you're recording. You've got your record, stop, and start. You've got an open mixer screen. You've got an open menu screen, which brings you to more settings. You've got playback screen and an output of volume and open file list. And you can see here, it shows you the levels for your left, right, and your one, two channels. And here are the zoom functions for the screen. You can zoom out, you can zoom in, and this also works while you're recording. And you just touch the middle to adjust the zoom properties. Touch the middle again, record, and there's a mixer, onboard mixer. And here you can see that you have some options for each channel. I've got it set now to stereo, so it's got the input one, two, and then the left, right microphones. And it'll give you a few options. You can, there's your left, right low cut, and your left, right dynamics. Okay, and you have the same thing for um, input one, input two. And you just touch it. Okay. Um, there, and you have your volume. and touch the middle to bring up the screen. And here, uh, your recording mode, camera, LCD rotation, file, setting, and USB. Let's go into recording mode. And here's the different things you can do. You can create four different files. And I've got it on video and wave file, stereo wave file. Now you could do multi-audio or you could just do your um, video. So, and there's and your video. You've got a couple different settings, and it's set up by pages. There's the first page, second page. Go back, and your audio. And there's what you can use for your audio. setup and the camera. You can select different scenes and there are three pages. Second page and your third page. Upside down is either off or on and that's for your LCD screen. And you've got a self timer and go up to 10 seconds. And your LCD rotation, unlock, lock, files. And here are the files that I have. And even playback, information, delete. So there you go. Go back. Back and your settings, your date, HDMI, beep, power. You've got three pages here, and that means you have selections. So there's that. Your information. And 
then your USB card reader, which allows you to read whatever's on here onto your computer through the USB cable. The webcam for this is not that great. I have a Logitech 922 that I use, and it's much better than this. Now, the USB mic on this is really nice. I do use that quite a bit. So you can select any three of those for the USB. Now, it will run off USB power, so I usually set that up. Your onboard mic levels can be seen on the meter there. It shows the meter for your left, right, as well as your inputs for your one and two channels. The volume control on your XY microphone can set the volume two, three, four, five, six, and you can see the volume going up and down with the adjustments on the onboard mics. The Zoom Q8 can use any of the interchangeable capsules that you can use for the H5 or the H6, excluding the multi-channel capsule. You have separate volume controls for each input, each channel, and the microphones on top. I think it's set up really well. There you go. So hopefully that walks you through all of the screens on the Zoom Q8.